Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim coming to you from the Crusher. I love my truck. Man, what a machine this thing is for sure. It's a big one too. I mean, you <laughs> parking spots, you gotta go. Sometimes you gotta take two. It's so long. Anyway, I'm on my way to um, take a run. I wanna, I wanna run out in the weather today. It's very brisk. Uh, what does it say? 56 degrees in Palm Beach County. <laughs> Yesterday was 84 degrees. Um, it's going to be, I don't know, 65, another 10 degrees. It's going to be beautiful today, uh, especially if you walk briskly and take a little jog. You'll be fine. i got to turn my heated seat off. It's burning my butt. Yeah, i got heated seats. It's a limited, you know. It's got it all. And uh, what was I going to talk to you about? Turn this AC down a little bit. I got it on 65. I'm plenty warm in here now. My jacket on 60. We'll go down to go down to 60. It's on automatic. That'll shut it off. Okay. Now I can hear myself talk. So I'm undecided of what beach to go to um, uh, to walk or run, I should say. But um, I gotta talk about T-Mobile. The good and the bad. What do you want to hear first? Well, let's start with the good. The good is the signal, the upload speed is phenomenal. That's the mainest thing. <laughs> I can upload these videos. I've already got two up this morning for you guys. Morning chat will continue to be morning, not 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, if I make a morning chat. Whatever I decide to upload you will see it in moments because I have um, a good uh, sailor service. Also, uh, I was trying, I was noticing if I could see, there we go, sync. Uh, the, uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll say this while I'm thinking about it. Today's the 29th. Today's the day <clears throat> I begin my eye drop in my left eye uh, before the operation. <clears throat> so, I got my regular glaucoma medicine I do, and then I did a prednisone drop in my left eye four times a day on top of the three times a day for the glaucoma medication. And so I'm carrying them with me, and I have a, a reminder and alarm set, and I'll reset it every time I do one for another four hours. So I'm, I'm scheduled to do it four times between now and 9 p.m. tonight. And I'm to do this, like I said, today until uh, uh, the operation. Then I'll continue for four more weeks and some other drops and who knows what the doctor's gonna talk to me about. But I can't wait for this to come and go. Wow, I can't wait for a couple of months to come and go so that I can possibly be off of the eye drops as much, off of them completely, off of one one eye, anything less than what I've got on my plate right now. But anyway, T-Mobile, the good and the bad. The good is, of course, I just said, it is anything is good. Visible was good. Verizon's good. They're all good when they work. When they upload your videos, and you know you can get online you're golden i don't care what name you want to put on it the bad you know years ago when i was paying a hundred dollars or 150 dollars a month for cell service and you had a limited amount of data and nights and weekends were free after 9 p.m you remember all that back in the day before everything became unlimited pretty much well you, you had to watch what you used, and you went into a store, like a Verizon store, and you had to deal with a, a, a representative of the company. And then you had to, you know, watch yourself. You had to govern, you know, and see what you were at. You know, you didn't want to go over and, and incur charges. And there were roaming fees. Remember all that? Before everything included? Well, now, uh, 
for seven years, I was with Visible. That's just an app. And you know, people were kind of uh, not real happy about that because they couldn't go into a, a physical building and talk to someone that didn't know any, didn't have any idea what they're talking about for the most part. They're just bodies in there. Everything has changed today. The people that work for places, they don't know anything. They don't care about anything. Not everyone. I'm being, you know, general. Uh, but I went to two T-Mobiles, and man, did I get, and I called customer service, tech support about that home internet thing, and they don't have a clue. They're, uh, they're people, you know, they're a big company like Verizon and AT&T, but they're just hiring bodies. If you can fog a mirror, you're hired. And, you know, get out there. So, it's all fine. I got, because, and it didn't take me all day in a, an argument or anything like that. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. But, when I had the app with Visible, I never had to talk to anybody. If I did, I had to chat. And then there was a secret way to get a live person. You had to keep typing in customer service about five times and then finally they would say let me get you some live support otherwise the AI tried to do it all for you and they were always very knowledgeable and, and rectified anything that I had an issue with I can count the times on one hand in the seven years I was with them that I ever had an issue and it was generally somebody else's issue that I was just trying to help I didn't have any issues really alright so People thought, oh, you don't have a building? Visible doesn't have a building? I never heard of them. They're an app? Oh, I don't know. You know, and <laughs> that's the best way. These stores that they're paying rent and paying commission salesmen, you're paying for that on these phone bills. You are absolutely paying for it. And then they want $100 a month uh, for, you know, so many gigabytes. They call it 100. I'm already 11 gigabytes in two days. So what is that? I'm gonna be 100 gigabytes before 30 days is over. That doesn't mean I run out of internet and my phone doesn't work. It just means that I don't have what they call premium, you know, high speed or whatever. I go down to some low rank. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about that. So now I'm, you know, I'm turning my hotspot off on my phone at the, uh, at the camper when I'm not watching TV. If I just have grit on and I'm using my digital antenna, my air channels, you know, I'm like, oh, Tim, turn off your uh, your hotspot because you only get 15 gigs. And with visible, I just left it on. It didn't matter because it was unlimited. So I miss that. I really do. I just wasn't getting, uh, what do you call, um, any speed to upload a video. So I had to do something. But I miss them. I miss them a lot. Because when uh, when I got a bill, I got a text this morning. I'm oh, sorry, I got to put these back on. When I got a text this morning, uh, it said, hey, congratulations, your bill's ready. I just started. I just started 48 hours ago. Now, it did say the bill's not due to the uh, 17th of February which are already letting me know. And as soon as I read a little further, it said $105. Hold the phone. Of course, I was expecting to pay $100 um, with that home internet thing. So they hadn't taken that off yet. The bill has been generated, I guess, with it. So I call customer service. And this is where you finally get somebody that is trained more and understands T-Mobile saying they at least reserve people that are taking the phone calls except for that tech support gal I got she didn't know anything about that home box she said well we don't really have too much uh, trial uh, we don't have too much uh, what she put what she say we don't have too much we can do it either works or it doesn't basically is all she said there isn't much um, what do you call it when you try to... Whatever, I'll think of it in a minute. So I get this nice lady on the phone this morning. She congratulated me for being a new customer. She was very sweet. I'm being very sweet because you get a lot more bees with honey. 
And I didn't like just, you know, bless her out and dr jump into her crap first thing in the morning. Hey, my bill ain't right. Why do you got blah, blah, blah. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> People will. You know, no, no, no. We went in it real slow and easy and kind. And while I was telling her my plight, she already took it off and created a new, you know, even shows it on the app. But yeah, they had the $105 for the, um, and I don't know if I didn't call her if they wouldn't have, because I'm on auto pay, because you save $10 if you do that. And it's with your bank account or your debit card, not a credit card. So I don't know whether they would have took $105 from me or only the 50, because that's what I'm paying now is $50 all in, which isn't bad if it works, <clears throat> it continues to work like it is. <clears throat> and I don't run out of, um, I'm curious, almost at the end of the billing cycle, want to run out of this premium data to see what the difference is, to see if the regular speed after my 15 gigs of hotspot that is, you know, high speed, it doesn't stop working uh, if it will power my TV. I don't think it stops working. I don't think it's 15 gigs and, and you know, hotspot doesn't work anymore. So having to call people and go into these stores and get different stories, like when I went into the first T-Mobile's in the beginning of this whole thing, when I was freaked out about my phone not working and uploading videos for a couple of days, you guys were like, where, where are your videos? Normally you wear us out. I couldn't upload. So <clears throat> I went into a T-Mobile store after doing some research, finding out that T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T are the top, the biggest, you know, strongest signals. And Verizon is still very proud of their bill. So I skipped them. I had them for 15 years. And then I got AT&T, which I got no use for. I don't know why. AT&T is just a name. Uh, they were bought out by Singular and everybody else six times already. They just keep that name um, kind of like politicians do. <laughs> like the parties, they keep Democrat name, but it's not Democrats. They keep Republican name. Those aren't Republicans. I don't know who those people are. They probably never have been worth shooting, but they're certainly not they just use the name because we're a two-party system. There should be an American party. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so AT&T just uses the name. If they work, fine, but their prices aren't as good. So I found this deal. I go into T-Mobile and I get this gal. And you know what she tells me? And she was very short with me, too. I walked in. And I said, yeah, I'm interested in, in, in one of your plans. I'd like to know uh, what's the best you have. What's the, you know, and she says this go 5G now or something. It is their newest uh, top tier plan that's $100, $90. And, and then I said, okay, well, uh, and it included like Netflix and going to the movies and parking garages and, triple a memberships and all i'm like i don't i don't need any of that i want cellular services all i just want you know unlimited data don't you have a truly unlimited data so she asked me how old i was i said 55 no she didn't ask me any of that that's right back up back up i said don't you have anything else this is where this is where i got a little upset we only sell that plan here we only offer that here i'm in a t-mobile store and this lady tells me, this young girl, we only sell the the T Go 55, the T Mobile 5G Go Now, ninety dollar plan. We only sell that. That's what she told me. We only sell that. They're a T Mobile store. Now that's that's just hooey right there. I go to the mall where I signed up for everything, met a very nice guy there, and he he couldn't even believe what I told him. She told me three times at least. I said, what do you mean? You don't sell your other plans? No. And then, but yet they had that box. 
she wanted me to walk out the door with that box for um, for however much it was with the 14 day uh, trial. So anyway, my point of this video is having to go back into a store again. I find very disconcerting. I find it you you can take what they say with a grain of salt. You can ask this person one thing, and one person tells you, "Oh yeah, the box gets the signal uh, from cellular from towers, but it's a different signal." And then another person says, "It's the same signal as you get for your phone, but prioritized or something." So you can't. They don't have the product knowledge, and they'll tell you whatever because. Let me tell you, you can see when you go into T-Mobile, they have people standing, four or five of them. How you doing? How you doing? I mean, you're a dollar bill. You can see that it's a commission. You can see that get in. That's why they're working there. They want to make money in sales. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there must be some plan that they've been pitched by T-Mobile Get them in the door, sell them this, and this is how much money we'll pay you. And the nice young man I met, though, he didn't try to take me to the top tier. He even told me, let's check your address to make sure that there is a signal for that home home network, home uh, internet. Because he said, if we sell it to you, you have a 14-day trial, you're just going to bring it right back. And he says, I don't like selling things to people that they don't need or it's not going to work. And that's a, that's a good salesperson there. They puts their self in your shoes. They want to sell. If you had, if you want the top and they can make the most there and that's what you want, fine. But they didn't push it. And anyway, that's what I wanted to, uh, to whine about this morning. I'm looking at a really nice Toyota pickup. I just love Tacomas. And, uh, <clears throat> and then when I got that $105 bill, all right, so they bill you like 30 days ahead and let you know, and but it's not due until the 17th of February, like two weeks from now. And then uh, the lady said she took it off, but another guy yesterday that I talked to on customer, customer service said he took it off. So anyway, and then the tech, tech lady said, well, they either work or they don't. We don't have any troubleshooting. We don't have any real troubleshooting techniques that we go through. So T-Mobile, as long as you don't have to call them and your bill has been straight and they haven't screwed you up and you just started and you got everything going right and that phone works and you can upload a video fast, then they're crushing it. But this beginning thing and starting out with that home network and then getting the bill and then they said they took it off, and then they didn't. Then they took it back to the store, and he took it off too. Three people have taken it off, but yet I got billed. <laughs> so, and now my app says only $50, so I'm satisfied. But I just got to tell you, if you go into those stores, don't sign up for anything more than you understand, and make sure you get all the fine print. Make sure you find somebody that knows what they're talking about or leave and go to another store find somebody that's courteous and that's been there a while these people they're, they're just hiring and another thing and i got nothing against loud music or kinds of music but they play very loud uh kind of rap music uh at the mall <clears throat> in the store you can hear it walking down the mall too in the promenade there if you want to call it that and so I never noticed that, like going into a Verizon store, AT and T, where you couldn't even hear yourself talking with the representative because they got some head banging music going on. And so, you know, just it's just the way the world is, and the kind of people they're they're finding to work because they can't. They're either not paying people enough, or uh, they're just getting bodies. Nobody wants to work. I don't I don't know what it is, but things have changed. And good help is hard to find. And that, that's all I got to say about it. I'm going to go into Dunkin' Donuts here with one of my gift cards. It's got a little bit of money left on it from one of you wonderful 61,800 beautiful souls. Listen, by the way, before I go, 
Would it be asking so much for you to check that you are subscribed to the channel? I had somebody email me last night that said they'd been unsubscribed six times and they keep subscribing and they keep getting unsubscribed. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why that's happening, but I'm never going to get to 100,000 subscribers and get my little plaque that I can be proud of behind me when I make my videos. It doesn't put a dollar in the bank, but it's very prestigious. If they keep unsubscribing my subscribers. And so I think I have a lot more than it shows because I was, uh, when my channel started growing, I was getting a thousand subscribers a day. And now for the last couple of months, I haven't moved 20 to 50 subscribers. And it doesn't mean anything other than bragging rights and, you know, to, to show a number. But I want the number to be correct, just like I want my cell phone bill to be correct. Just like I want to be the best I can be every day to my fellow mankind. And that's what we talk about on this channel. We want to be all we can be. We all want to crush it. We all want to do the right thing. And I also want to ask, while I'm uh, asking you to subscribe or check your subscription, following, whatever. Subscription sounds like you're paying something. You're not paying anything. But if you're going to shop Amazon, folks, and you're buying things on Amazon, and you want to support my channel and help me, please consider clicking on the Amazon link. I moved it to the front and the buy me a coffee next, which is kind of, you know, it doesn't show it, but it's there if you want to click on it. Buy me a coffee doesn't cost anybody. Uh, buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee does cost you. <laughs> Amazon link doesn't cost anybody a single penny when you buy something on Amazon. There's, the only thing you're at, you're being inconven inconvenienced is rather than opening up Amazon on your phone or your laptop uh, through your app, you bring up Sarasota Tim and you find my link on the front of my uh, YouTube page and you start there. You click on that. And if you want to take the trouble to fool with it, great. Because it's pennies that I make. But pennies, nickels, and dimes times 61,000 people can add up to a, a great amount of money that YouTubers, all YouTubers are Amazon affiliates. All YouTubers want you to use their Amazon affiliate. And if you have another YouTuber, which I'm sure you do, that you're subscribed to, that you follow, and they're asking you to use theirs, and you prefer to do that, by all means, <laughs> use theirs. Use somebody's, help them out. But if you're not, and you want to help me out, you know, I'll, I'll end it there. Click on the uh, Amazon link. It'll take you to a product that I have, that I just chose. And then you just search from there what it is you're looking to buy. And I'll get a, I'll get a credit at the end of the month. I got a credit this month. I got a credit last month. And last month was a pretty good one uh, for Christmas. Uh, this month was, was fine. Uh, but it was less because it's not Christmas. So I thought, I thought to myself, well, Tim, you got to remind people to subscribe or resubscribe. You got to remind people to hit the like button, which I see hundreds of likes. So, and I never even asked you to do that. And you, you, you appear to be doing it. So thank you. Uh, that helps. That helps a lot. So if you're not doing that, you can do that too. And if you want to use the Amazon link and you're going to buy stuff, you want to help me out and do that. Because I, I'll do what I can for you. I'll bring you entertainment and content and make you laugh and I'll encourage you. I'll do what I can on my end. <laughs> And, and you do what you can over there, and together we'll all crush it.